So, Gip Gabor, Imre, great to have you here. You've just uh, conducted a uh, technology panel uh, yes. at the Swiss International Day, SID 2020. Um, how was it? What were some of the key takeaways that you uh, feel might be of interest for those that couldn't attend? You know, it was very exciting because uh, Wilco Weber is an excellent uh, moderator. He is. Um, and I had a partner actually, the uh, Falk, which is a uh, booking platform, and uh, we kind of uh, had to find a way together that uh, uh, what is actually what technology suppliers like him and uh, us can add to the industry. So how actually we uh, can help or support to find a way out from this COVID caused situation. Um, and I think uh, we were able to highlight also a couple of the, the, the topics. Mm -hmm. The one is um, what we are doing actually is biometrics. So we are using the basic biometrics of the facial recognition to give to supply and support uh, the businesses with, um, with quite simple business applications, which uh, sounds not so simple, but we really try to keep it um, as uh, usable and as user-friendly as possible in order to uh, help the people to grow the revenue, increase the margins or the profit, um, and obviously keep the customers uh, happy or even make them more happier. Mm, yeah. So, and that was actually the, uh, the presentation about to explain uh, about the product a little bit and also about the possible use cases in a kind of hospitality um, environment. Mm. So what would, in your opinion, what would be the immediate use cases that hotels could possibly ad adopt now, given that we are in a contactless environment and we need to support that type of culture? Yeah. Uh, what, what would be some of the key areas that a hotel that would want to introduce that? What, what, what would you recommend they look at? Actually, there are at least uh, two or maybe three. The first one is uh, obviously to understand the basic data, the, 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 customer, the const customer insight. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we are doing actually and also what we are offering is a customer frequency measurement. So the visitors uh, are coming in and they are actually collecting the so-called anonymous or so non-biometric data about them, building up a database and then providing the essence of this database in a kind of dashboard uh, for the clients. And that's quite useful. People not every time understand the, uh, the real usage of it because mm. Everybody would think that they know the data, which is obvious. Yes, we know, and also the, the general managers of the hotels, they know it. But uh, the people in the marketing, I mean, their employees in the marketing de uh, departments, their uh, PR team, their front office uh, managers and teams, they not necessarily know everything in such detail like the manager does. And the tool, what we are offering, actually it helps to understand that and also to support the everyday yeah. business. So this is one of those. The other one is um, added value. So what we are also um, supporting is the personalized offering. And uh, we discussed it. I mean, several uh, presentations came up today, not only the automation and the digitalization of the industry, but also the um, increasing need for personal offering and um, an, an application for example what um, um, I uh, this is something new because I didn't mention it in the presentation um, an application for example is and uh, we call it face advert where we are personalizing the um, ads which will be streamed on the dig uh, on the different digital signage screens in the hotels or in the restaurants or just simply in the uh, in open uh, public spaces. Um, we are actually uh, providing a platform where the uh, clients can uh, not simply run through and uh, run through their uh, ads and films, but they can decide on uh, gender, on uh, different age groups, and obviously timing and location. And that four filters gives you actually the benefit or the advantage that you can really use your ad time on a much higher, much uh, more efficient level yeah. than normally you does. So it's more targeted in that sense. It's, it's absolutely, yeah. it's targeted. So what would you say would be some of the most common misconceptions and misunderstandings when it comes to biometrics? Obviously, Big Brother is watching me. Yeah. Uh, we are not, so that came up on the stage as well. So we are 
in, in Europe it's quite easy because Europe has the so-called GDPR rules mm. and um, the, every time in, with each and every client, with each and every discussion it's coming up. So we are keeping uh, uh, this uh, as one of our strategical advantages actually that we can handle uh, the GDPR compliancy matter, uh, I wouldn't say easily, but properly. Um, and uh, we are ready for each and every audit mm. from clients and or from the government to prove that uh, our concept is safe and GDPR compliant. Okay, okay. And in terms of the, the secure, securing of the data, the data security itself, how, how can that be given an assurance to the, also the hotelier, given GDPR is such a big issue, especially here in Europe, yeah. um, security is, is a problem. We've seen a lot of recent uh, attacks on big hotel chains from a security perspective. It's fair to say we will see more, but how, how, how can that side of it be also Look, it's obvious that once we are turning or we are actually growing into a so-called digital age, then uh, the security of our age or our digital environment will be more and more crucial. Mm -hmm. So because of this, the cybersecurity is actually one of the key issues today of the not only our industry, I mean, not only the IT industry, mm -hmm. but all the industries. Mm -hmm. It's not only the hospitality industry, it's the, uh, the energy, uh, the construction industry, each, even governments, were attacked in the last uh, couple of uh, months. So it was a heavy time for all of us. Mm. Uh, so that's why uh, what we are offering uh, every time that the data which will be captured and the database which will be built up by us, it's not ours. So we are not protecting it. We are offering actually it for our clients that we give them and we provide them the best uh, available uh, cybersecurity protection environment, but the data belongs to them. Yeah. Unless they actually give us the order that we should keep up the data. Normally we do not, because the yeah. data belongs to the customer, or also the server or the cloud platform they are using belongs to the client. Um, so, and as such, it's, I wouldn't say it's not our problem, but we are only consulting and we are cooperating in this matter. So it's not really sure. uh, our okay. core issue. Excellent. All right. Well, Gabor, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.